Happy Thanksgiving, guys. Welcome back to Let's Play Secret of Mana, the bonus episode. So, in this episode, I'm going to show you the stuff that has to do with the girl and getting her much later in the game. And I started here because if you don't talk to the Elder after, you know, being almost banished from the village, you can actually leave the music as this. It won't change. Do you have so, everything? that's just an interesting little change from the, uh, the Elder. well, not from the Super Nintendo game, but change from the normal pace the way you'd normally play the game. So, at this point, you wouldn't know that your mother left you at the village because, guess what, you never talked to him to get more backstory. So, why don't we head on over to the Water Palace, taking advantage of Gemma's free, uh, trip. Sure. So, believe it or not, this is the second recording because I made mistakes, viewers. But, in the last recording as well, something weird happened with the Mantis Ant. When I was fighting him, and he sent out that little scythe thingy that knocks you out, he actually double hit me with it, so it caused a lot of damage. This time, I basically took him down in a couple of hits with critical hits, but... See? Dylok and his crew? Don't talk to him. Completely ignore them. Because you know what? We don't want to be attacked by goblins. We don't want to be mocked and insulted by her. Because we have an ego, and we need to protect it. At least, that's the boys thinking in this storyline. At least that's what I'm going with, and I'm going to stick to it. So, I'm still going to be fighting the enemies along the way in this, because, well, I'm probably going to need the experience from fighting the enemies. Because uh -oh. I think I know how far I want to go hey. with the... Uh, oh yeah, she's 200 years old in case Mind you forgot. It's... Wait. Oh, duh. He says it. Luca. Talk to Luca. him. Skip the Nana. text. His but yeah, I want to have experience. I want it to be easier on me. Gemma. All right, Gemma. You go to Pandora, talk to the king, and then get taken over by... Well, you know what? Actually, you probably wouldn't see that episode. So, minor almost spoilers, but not. What frightens you so? Uh, you know what? The sword frightens me. the legendary mana sword. But its power has faded. Sure has. Now it's hardly better than a normal weapon. It's not better than a normal weapon, it's rusted over. It used the last of its power to choose a new master. I can tell. But why did it pick me? Yeah, why me? I don't have that answer. But you drew the sword. <clears throat> and now it's your responsibility to restore its power. No so problem. Where do I fit in? You must become a hero who is worthy of the sword. Okay. Come, hold the... Alright. So we're going to seal the mana seed with the mana sword, as per usual. There is only one ching sound here, but in the Super Nintendo there'd be like, what, three or four or something? It's just another difference to note. And it I don't know, I like the sound of the Super happened? Nintendo version better. The seed and the sword They're synchronized. They're now one. Now when you get magic, it. you can level it up to one. Thanks for the spear. You said a I'll <coughs> Would yes, you like restore. To the Excuse me, goodness. You must have come down with the cold or something. To reach Take Gemma's advice. Yeah, whatever. He's he said go do something somewhere with someone at some point. Got it. Alright, let's dash on down. Okie dokie, it's pretty much the same throughout here. And, well, you might notice that, uh, Dialuk and his crew, they took off. They go, they went and ran off to fight LNA the Witch. They didn't talk to me, so... In fact, they probably didn't even notice me while Dialuk was giving his epic speech briefing thing. Which I'm sure he did. Oh, cool, free candy. And hitting them both at the same time. Speedrun tactics, right? No. I've never thought about speedrunning this game. Just because, well, if you're doing it glitchless, I'd imagine it'd be a really, really long game. Medical, wow, I'm getting a lot of treasure this run. And to do it with all the glitches, oh my goodness. At least with the Super Nintendo game, that is. It makes it look horrendous and sad, and it breaks my childhood. Well, okay, not really. But it does feel kind of weird knowing that 
these games that I so loved and adored. <clears throat> Excuse me, goodness. These Super Nintendo games are so full of glitches and buggy. And actually, recently I've taken up to learning programming games, but it's so boring now. Um, Python. And somehow I've come across seeing stuff on assembly and whatnot. I think this whole game was made in assembly by, by Nasir Gabelli, Gabelli? Uh, the Super Nintendo version, that is. And my goodness, it takes so long to program in that. And with, uh... In assembly, that is. And with, uh, what do you call it? Having to cut 40% of the game's script, I can only imagine what that would have been like. Just removing all of that hard work. Makes me wonder if they had it saved somewhere, or have it saved somewhere, just so we could see what the normal game was like. Before they cut off the CD add-on stuff. And you know what? There is something that I hadn't covered in, um... The main LP at... Oh, jeez. Uh, this isn't good? Okay. Just in between them both. Thank goodness. That could have been... Actually, it could have been troublesome. Um, and that thing that I hadn't covered was... There's a treasure chest. No. The thing that I hadn't covered was somewhere in these menus here. Let's see. Voiceover. Sound source. Sound source. Let's take a look at that. Yes, that's it. And welcome to the spam callers. Let's try and make that quieter, but this is the Super Nintendo music of the game. So I think we'll start listening to that. And I completely take it away from the other track. I actually didn't like the other track when I was a kid. Um, for that whole way between uh, Pandora, Water Palace, and Potos, I just I didn't like it. I don't know why, but I've grown to I grow I've grown more fond of it now. I don't know why that is though. <laughs> My wife says nostalgia, and she's probably right. The master and his daughter left for the castle. Oh. I believe they're working out the details of her arranged marriage. Okay. So okay. It's interesting, because in this version, I believe you could actually come here, and the girl would be um, up here, and she'd just be called girl. And if you talk to her father, Elmon, he would actually just say, go, 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 in all lowercase letters, and then just dot, dot, dot. Because at that point, it would try to use her name in his text, but she didn't have a name, so it had nothing to reference, so he just said lowercase, go, 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 repeatedly. And, uh, yeah. Okay. So, yeah, it's just an interesting thing. You'd see her, and she'd run down and run away out of the house, heading up this way. Unless I did things out of order and I'm forgetting. Oh, and in the next couple episodes, I'll show you... Well, I won't show you the glitch in the Super Nintendo game, but I will tell you more about a glitch that's in there with the magic rope. So, cool. Yet in the last episode, I forgot to show off the house to see if Elmon was there with Purim, or Prim. See, I'm even used to calling her by her Japanese name before this game was released and giving us the U.S. name officially. So, all right, let's go get her and recruit her into our party. My dad is infuriating. I'm in charge of my life, not him. Come out of my way. Whoa, jeez, lady. Well, yep. If you didn't get attacked by goblins, she didn't save you, and if she didn't save you, um, well, I guess no luck there. So, I don't really know how to go about doing this right now, so there's two things I want to try. One, I want to go back here, and I'm going to check out and see if she's back at the house. If her dad is back at the house as well, well, then I missed something, and I'm going to have to do a jump cut and reload one of my earlier saves on this and show you. If not, I can run back up there and show you what I wanted to show you. The master and his doctor, I believe. Okay. Did she come back to the house? Nope, they're still not there. Good. I think I'm still good then. I'll go and see if they're in the room. If not... I'll just have to jump cut it and show you guys. I mean, it'd be inconvenient for me, but hey, I want you guys to see the game. 
And that'd be my bad if I had the opportunity. Why didn't I take it? Well, because I thought maybe they threw the things into a different order or something, perhaps. But I guess they were actually just trying to avoid the whole potential glitch issue there that they had on the Super Nintendo. So I don't know, you could say, unless I did it wrong, you could say, oh, it's not 100% like the Super Nintendo Authentic or something, but whatever. I'm not that picky. Nope, good! I do get to show you. No jump cut. Hooray! She's always been a handful. He said something completely different the last time I talked to him. Uh, I am going to have to jump cut it, viewers. But I'll probably append that to the end of the episode or something. She's always okay, well, if he said something different... He said something different. Well, I don't know if he did. I messed something up in the other corner. What is the meaning of this, Sir Elman? What exactly were your intentions? You can forget about our previous arrangement. How dare you insult my family like this? No wonder she didn't marry the guy. He looks exactly like Elliot. She's always been... Okay. She lost her mother when she was young. I suppose I never figured out how to be a proper father to her. I know it was hard for her growing up, but all I want is for her to settle down and be happy. That's why I arranged for her to marry a young nobleman. But now she tells me she's in love with a soldier. Wow. So I never realized that he really was trying to seek out her best interests. He's not just trying to keep some noble blood or some nonsense. Well, I mean, he might be to a certain degree, but I don't know, maybe, let's see. She's always been a... She lost her mother. I know it was... Yeah, she lost her mother. Her to marry I don't know how soon you'd She's see that. Oopsie daisy. I know it. That's why... Well, he might also be concerned because soldiers might die in battle and a prince probably wouldn't be thrown into the fray. So he would probably want to spare her from her heart being broken if Dialog ever got killed. So, well, that really makes me like Elon a whole lot more. Though I think he is going about it the completely wrong way. Um, it shows that he has her best interests at heart. That's really cool. I appreciate that a whole lot more about this game now. Alright, so we could have gone and talked to the king with Gemma. But I'm pretty sure dialogue wouldn't change. Just because... Well, actually... It'd be a little different, because Prim wouldn't be saying, like, Oh, why are you sending Dialuck? Oh, wait, that's after you talk to him again, so... You know what? Whatever. Let's see if Elmon beat me back to his house. No one downstairs. No one upstairs. Doesn't appear to be the case. And Prim isn't home, so that's not any different. Alright, do I see Fana anywhere? No. And you're like, Fana? Who's she? That's right, you wouldn't see this until... Well, I should say the next episode until probably Friday, if I'm able to do that right. And here's the Super Nintendo version of this music. I really like this tune. I don't know, a lot of these um, pieces of music just, I don't know, give me the feeling of home. <clears throat> Wherever I might be playing the game, it just... It's very inviting and friendly. I really enjoy it. <coughs> Goodness gracious, I'm definitely coming down with something. There's no way there'd be that much in my throat. Oop. So yeah, this is basically the same track, except now I don't have a character to level up. Another character to level up, that is. And let's see. So, one option, as I may have discussed earlier, maybe not, is you can actually go and get the sprite now if you wanted to. You could get him first, or you could try and get the girl right now um, in the forest, and then you'd skip the whole her abandoning you part, because you'd have to engage in a certain battle with two wolves in a special area. So, having Popoy would probably make that a little easier. On top of that, we'd be getting the spiky suit. 
And I don't know if there'd be any special dialogue between Prim and Popoy if I had Popoy there. But because that's going to take a lot longer, I might try to figure that out at some point on my own. And then if there is special dialogue, then I'd show you afterward. But in the meantime, I think I'm just going to keep going with this. Oh, didn't let it charge up enough. Awesome. Yeah. It's going to be very interesting seeing that in this game, because every time I've played this game now, on the HD remake for the PC, I've never actually gone the other way to, um, wait for Prim, so this is going to be new to me too, how they've, uh, changed this up a bit. I suppose I could show that. See? This is what happens if you get hit by the powder. And see, that's cool! They get to roll around, spin around on their heads, so awesome. You do get to see that. I mean, there is a recolor of this enemy way, way, way later in the game that you might be able to see it on, but eh. I figured I'd show it now. It's no big deal. But it is cool to see, so you know they can do it. I'm not lying to you, viewers. notice those the guys there. So there is something I wanted to show you guys coming up here too, that at least in the Super Nintendo game it's a thing, and I'm, I don't know, I think I'm the only person on the planet who noticed it or something. I don't know, I might have actually made a comment to a uh, LPR. Wait, it's gone. It's not here on this version of the game. So in this version of the game there's actually a patch of grass here that's in the shape of Yoshi's head. Like, really, if you were to come here and look at it, it looks like Yoshi's head. And it's so weird, I'd never noticed that. Um, and I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I never noticed that. I've never noticed anyone else notice that. I don't know, maybe I just have weird pattern recognition in my brain or something. 10 GP, say, stay the night. Uh, no, I'll just save over this file here. Hopefully... Hopefully I won't have to do any jump cuts. <clears throat> man, oh man. So much. Yeah, and you're probably grossed out. Sorry about that, guys. I don't know what's going on. Awesome, taking him down easy. Gotta say, though, it's a lot easier managing one character as opposed to two at this point. Oh, excuse me a moment. Alright. Hopefully I'll be better from now on. Punch glove. Oh, I didn't realize that could come from a lullabud. And you know what? I'm gonna go this way this time around. And what I couldn't think of is the word 2x4s or something put over here, or planks. That's what it looks like in the Super Nintendo version when you walk on those planks. And I just realized, I am going this way. I did not get the chain vest and things, which would probably make fighting the Chobin Hoods a lot easier going through this pathway, but you know what? Let's just see if I can deal with it without it with only one character. It shouldn't be too hard. Well, I hope it won't be too difficult for me. Well, if not, you guys will get to revel in my misery. I'll try to upload it, regardless of the results. Yep, all the enemies are pretty easy. One thing I really, really wish you could do is actually, yeah, see, choose which of these swings you could do, whether it be swing or stab, because sometimes you really, really want the wide arc to hit all the enemies. Like the Ifish in the uh, Undine Cave, if, like, when I first swung my axe or whatever, that would have been so, so nice if it would have done the wide swing and hit them all. But... Alas, it didn't happen. So, I mean, minor gripe. Not very significant at all. But, just, you know, one of those things that would maybe polish or a nice effect or something, you know? Alright, going in here, less than full health against machine gun monsters. Oh good, you can actually have enough range to hit in here. 
Oh, and you know when they do that special attack, it doesn't do any extra damage, even though it's the same as the first charge attack. So, alright, switch to the weapon, swing here, let him fire, switch back to the better weapon, and stab, so that way I don't take any damage. And I don't like the delay on that, it makes me so scared that I'm just gonna get sniped and die. Alright. Go down here, guys. Good, I'll hit you both. I have enough range. For one of you. Awesome. So if you stand in the right spots... Oh, and don't miss. Do not miss. And you don't miss. You should be able to take these guys out no problem. And you won't have any issues. Whoop, whoop. Oh, I just realized. Ooh, it hurts. Well, anyway. <laughs> and my wife, you just realized it hurts when you get hit? Uh, she's a lovable troll. But I realized I'm going to be fighting this extra fight here without any extra armor. So I'm going to be fighting super strong enemies with not so super strong uh, um, defense. Oh man, she is chiding me on this thing. She's... Oh jeez, she's relentless. Okay, I didn't swing because of my percent meter. And as you can see, that can cause a bit of a problem. Alright, and you see when you're near them, they won't try to kill you, so... You can freely kill them. I'm clearing this in case more spawn. Am I even close to a level? Because these guys do give a lot of experience for the level you're at at this point. 66. I think I'm kind of close. As dangerous and stupid as it sounds, I might actually want to grind that out a little bit because I've made mistakes. Mistakes were made, viewers. Kippo Village, Water Palace. And you can only have two saves in this, whereas in the Super Nintendo you could have four kind of a big deal when you're doing an LP and you don't want to save over things so you don't lose progress. Oh, I'm just going to have to deal with it, aren't I? Because that's at the Water Palace. Oh, I'll try not to die. Because otherwise I've got a lot of problems coming up. No bueno. No bueno. Alright, so I was at 66. Now I'm at 54. So, 12, 24, 36, 48, 60. I guess I should have been able to do that in my head. Five of them. <clears throat> Alright. I must be crazy, but... But I'm gonna try it. You know, it might be better to keep the sword out just because I'm killing him in three hits regardless. So it'd be better for me to both hit them and cut through that at the same time. So that's another strategy you can use if you're... <laughs> if you were following along and still completely stuck at this area and you did it the way I do it. Because, seriously, my brother and I, we got a lot of game overs. Would not blame you if you died a... Oh my goodness. Died a horrible, horrible death to these creatures. Because... This is by far the most challenging thing in this game, is dealing with these enemies at this stage of the game. Stand near them, and they can't do diddly to you. Good, I leveled up again. I never thought I'd be grinding in a LP. Granted, it is a bonus episode. And not only that, it's just showing you how you could do it, and showing you it's manageable, and oh my, oh my, oh my. Oh good. Good, good, good. I'll show you it's completely possible in a lot. Please don't poison me. Son of a gun, it poisoned me! It really poisoned me! And the downside is the animation takes a while to load, so... So it gets to damage you all the while. 
So don't cast Remedy on yourself when you get poisoned, completely not worth it. By the time the cast animation goes off and the spell goes off, you'll have already taken all the damage and wasted your MP. Alright viewers, here, here's the thing. So, yep, you guys have to fight these things with her. And in the Super Nintendo game, she actually helps you fight them. I guess in this version, she's clearly not. Lunar Boost? They can cast Lunar Boost? So, the good thing to do is you can run away. They're a lot slower in this version of the game, so you don't have to worry about them killing you. Oh, and they didn't heal. Oh, this is so good. This is easy in this game. In the Super Nintendo game, they're so much faster. They hit so much harder. This was... Oh my goodness, and I built up this up for you guys and said, oh, it's so difficult. I didn't even get hit. Getting here is harder in this version. And I get a couple wishes, which I'm going to need because she's going to die a horrific death on the way back. She compliments you on your swordsmanship right now. What? What do you mean, we? Oh, so you're gonna let the person you just saved go and fight a witch on her own? Um. Come on, stop wasting my time. We've got a job to do. Uh, whatever your name is. What's your name? Oh, you could call me. And here's where you name her. <clears throat> yeah, man, and she guilts you right into it, too. So another thing I thought of doing from here is actually instead of going and hitting that thing that requires the axe, is just going down and see if she'll run from you again until you come here. But you know what? I don't know if I want to do that. And now you finally get the- oh jeez, I'm taking out this guy. She can take that on her own. Well, you know what? I can make this an extra long bonus episode if I do that. Stay up here. There's a chob and hood down there who'll fire at you like a machine gun. So you know what? I'll see if I can go back without having to hit that. I'll show it to you guys. This is going to be a long episode. I'll try to make it. Uh, happy Thanksgiving for you. If you happen to see it on Thanksgiving. I mean, I don't know. At the time of... Uh, oh my goodness, she's so dead. Told you. So, this is the downside to having an extra character. And she has no armor, because I didn't buy her stuff at Kippo, because I didn't think that far ahead. But, well, a whole lot of mistakes are made. Wow, I actually hit him. You have more range in this than a Super Nintendo. Well, you know what? I got it, and I'm not keeping this. I should have waited to kill that, because it takes longer for her to restore that in this. I'm not going to buy anything from Neko. It's never, ever worth it at any point in your gaming career to spend money on him. Good, she leveled up. So, the good news is, is she'll be leveling up at an, uh, at an amazing rate. Oh, and so will I, apparently. Yep, this is probably going to be almost completely uncut. Just because, a hey, bonus episode, interesting stuff, stuff's being said, at least it's interesting to me. I mean, I can't hear you guys, however many views, views I'll get. And you know, another interesting thing too is you never know when your last view on a video is going to come. It's gonna sound weird for me to pause like that, but it's a loading screen, and if I do have to edit this video because of something, then I want it to be easy. But you never know when the last video, review on a video is gonna come. Like this is the last time this video will ever be viewed. And heck, it could be by me or my family for all I know if they choose to watch it. And she leveled up again, wow. But it's also, you never know when the last time you do anything will be, at least in this life. 
So, I guess, with everything you do, make sure you make the most of it. Because you never know when your time will come. Yep, no couple wishes in real life. Yeah, although some people use certain cups as cup of wishes, but they usually just use that cup to drown sorrows, and that hurts too. Man, got pretty serious in this episode, didn't it? Thought it was all just gonna be fun and games, but you know what? Because life is short and things are hard, be thankful for what you've got. Hopefully you have someone to be thankful to. And now, I'll get to see... Oh, after this treasure. Please don't poison me. Oh good, free money. Free money, oh jeez. Free money is always nice. With no strings attached. Alright, we're just a cave away. And I'm trying to level up and get as much experience as I can. Let's see, I've shown the girl thing. Oh, I don't know if I've shown this in the other game. We'll see first here. Hey, this isn't the way to the witch's castle. Where are you going? Ah, uh, let's try it. You can go by yourself. I'm not going in there. So what are you gonna do? Underground palace. Oh, you're stubborn. <clears throat> I'll find Darla on my own. See you around. She did leave me. Interesting. I'll have to go and save her again, will I? Oh. Oh, everyone, this is this is exciting. I didn't think she'd leave me again. I had no idea. I wonder if you could do that in the Super Nintendo game. I wonder if it's even possible. I'm glad I did that now. Is she going to retain her level and stuff? Is it going to forget? Is the game going to glitch out? I'm actually excited. I have no idea what to expect at this point. I mean, because if I would have just said no, she would have came with us back to the forest and whatnot. So cool. Are we going to see the dialogue twice? Wow, I am actually genuinely intrigued. I have half a mind to go and um, upgrade the sword to make this fight easier, though, just to rush through it, but I don't know. I'm not so sure that that's the way I want to take in this episode. Just because, at that point, it would be unnecessarily extending the length of the video. Just because it'd make that little fight easier, because I'd be higher level, hitting higher uh, damage with the weapon. Oh, but you know what I could do? Although, this file isn't going to be the permanent one anyway, because I have so much to catch up on in this. Oh, I could buy her armor to make the fight easier. If I have to do that fight again. And see if she joins me in it or something. Oh, cool. And you guys get to be along with me for the ride to see this, well, very interesting turn of events. At least it's interesting to me. I don't know about you guys, but... Another interesting thing, too, is maybe it's a bit arrogant of me to think this, because I haven't, like, searched all of YouTube, but what if I'm the first person in the world to have discovered this? <laughs> they program it into the game, and, well, what if no one discovered it until now? Aside from the design, of course, I guess that was the point I was trying to make. Ooh, so they have more than 52 health. No treasure, alright. Let's keep going. And they're down here. Come on up here, fellas. Or one fella. Oh. I do oh no, he spawned! Ah! Okay. Yes, that was very masculine. Oh no! Ow. Good, I took one out. Good, I didn't even have to open that way up. 
This is already going very differently. This whole episode's going very differently than I anticipated. But you know what? This is fun. Hopefully I don't run out of like disk space or something in the middle of this episode. That would be the... That would just... It'd be so discouraging. <laughs> Awesome. Or it desyncs in it, that would be awful too. I hope it doesn't desync. I have no idea how to fix something like that. If it's even possible. Alright. I hope it doesn't desync. Now it's really bugging me. It's like, oh no, I might have to deal with that. Alright, let's see. Are we gonna have to fight him again? We sure are! I hope it has different text. I wonder if I didn't aggro the other guy. I wonder if they have different aggro radiuses, or they have these guys. Oh no, he sees me, he sees me. Okay. So, I'm, I'm guessing they could probably chain you down. They get you down and hit you when you're down, and then you're done for. So, I'm not gonna let that happen. Well, it's easier when there's two of them for that to happen to you, but as far as it depends on me, I'm not gonna let that happen. Oh, I missed. Wow, this is so much easier. And them not having iframes during a lot of that makes it so much easier again to kill them. Uh huh. I knew you'd come. Thank you. Huh. Okay, let's go. We have to save Dyla. Yep, she does uh, come back here. Cool, so they thought of that. That's pretty neat. Wow. That's... I, oh, and she got the weapon skill. Oh, avoided that narrowly. Now, I could do it again, viewers, and maybe you could be the first person to find out that they do that for a, well, whatever number of times. Like, oh, they have this instead. Like, oh, are you really starting to make me angry or something? But, you could be the first. Yep, and eggs. And well, I guess at this point, let me see. She'd probably say the same stuff back at her house in the village. I showed you what it's like to get her twice, apparently. Um, yeah, I think that's I think that's everything. That's what it's like to have to deal with uh Well, having a girl. Yep, because, oh, C31, and trying to get her out of here. I will show you guys how to get out with her now. That's the one thing I did not show you in that other episode. So hopefully it didn't desync, and this will be a thing. Uh, so, okay, hopefully it won't desync, and then I can show you guys just what it's like dealing with this and making your way out. Oh, I leveled up, good. So you can see how difficult it is to try and make it out of here with her. I mean, you could have bought her the armor so she'd take a lot less damage as you're going throughout this thing, but you don't have to. But if you did take this route, I'd recommend getting it. Seriously. Make her tankier. Ooh. All the lights just around here flashed. I hope it doesn't crash or something. Ooh. And I'm probably way more leveled than I was in the video at the time, so that's making it easier too, I'm sure. Taking a little less damage, being a little less scared of the enemies and the damage I'll take. So, whether it be my level or not, it's really not too bad. And I mean, unless you want to keep her alive, in which case, get a second player, or plug in another controller and try to control her to keep her back so you can do everything with the boy because while they're dead they don't get experience so at least the boy is going to be very leveled up from all of this so that's good although there is something I guess I want to check too so now that I've gotten you guys safely out of here I will take her back and I'm just going to run by everything at this point viewers but I'm oh Oh, and another thing to note. Oh wow, I'm surprised this uh, came up. Uh, if I recall, you when you run with them in the Super Nintendo game, like the A button dash in the Super Nintendo, if they're dead, 
they actually only move so fast. They can't move any faster than normal. But in this, you're allowed to A button dash with them dead. So they won't drag you behind and lock the screen, essentially, and keep you way behind on your movement. Huh. About to sneeze. <coughs> oh, excuse me, viewers. One night is ten years. So, the reason I'm going to stay here and potentially show this is I want to see if they say anything or have any dialogue for them dying. I've never seen this before. They're showing this anyway, even though we weren't attacked by the goblins. In fact, she'd never even seen a goblin. Hey. Oh yes, I'm sure. Don't worry. I'll oh, that's secret. interesting. So if you did it this way, you wouldn't even know what she's referencing because it didn't happen. Look, I already told you. And I told you this. Who knows what she might have? Well, when you put it. If you won't go with me, I won't waste wow. my time looking. You were the one. So you know what? Quit. I'll just save the game here, and I guess I can check afterward, I might cut it in at the end. I think there's something else I gotta cut in, too. Maybe that was the scrapped recording, I don't know. But, eh, we'll see. I'll see if there's something else that's said if she's dead when this happens, but probably not. Alright, well, that was the Thanksgiving bonus episode. I hope you guys had a good time. Uh, we talked about... Oh! And here's the save music. I forgot about that. So this is this. Uh, so here's this too. Yeah. Let's see. Where was I? Yep. This is the Thanksgiving episode. Thank you guys for watching. Have a happy Thanksgiving. And I hope this is all synced up so you guys will actually have that to enjoy. Um, have a good one. And God bless. One night is 10 GB. Alright, I think I can finally save. Actually, it's saved when I walked in. No, okay, I will do this. Alright, for real, guys. Happy Thanksgiving. Uh, have a good one. Bye-bye. God bless.